My name is Ryan, and I wanted to welcome everybody to ILIF and welcome to our Trans Day of Remembrance service. So Trans Day of Remembrance is, or it was established a few years ago, to recognize and name those people that we have lost in the past year to violence and to suicide. I wanted to take this moment to thank everyone who helped make the service possible. This service was put together by ILIF's Queer Coalition, and I'd like to thank Mallory for her hard work and for her le leadership, uh, to Eric McEwen and to uh, Kathy Kelsey for making the service possible, and all the other members of the Queer Coalition who couldn't be with us, but who helped us in spirit and who were behind the scenes helping. sons and daughters to explain our lives as if a child could tell us why that as sure as the sun rises, sure as the sea sure as the wind in the tree we rise again of our children we rise again in the voices of our song we rise again in the waves out on the ocean and then we rise again when the light goes dark the forces of creation across the stormy sky we look to reincarnation to explain our lives as if a child could tell us why that as sure as the sun rises as sure as the sea Sure as the wind in the trees, we rise again in the faces of our children. We rise again in the voices of our song. We rise again in the waves out on the ocean. And then we rise again. We rise again. Rise again in the voices of our song. We rise again in the waves out on the ocean. And then we rise again. And then we rise again. We have two songs now, which we intended as congregational, but we were not able to print lyrics and get them in front of you. So, this first song has some repeating parts. The first parts, we will sing three times each. We come from the fire, living in the fire, go back to the fire, turn the world around. It is fire, and then water, and then mountain. And there are other repeating parts you can probably pick up and join in. Whoa, so is life, ah, so is life. And also, do you know who I am? Do I know who you are? See we one another clearly? Do we know who we are? This is turn the world around. Should they stand? And yeah. please stand. stand. You stand better stand. Were, oh, yes. Stand up and good and luck. Able. All right, here we go. <coughs> We 
come from the fire, living in the fire, go back to the fire, turn the world around. We come from the fire, living in the fire, go back to the fire, turn the world around. We come from the fire, living in the fire, go back to the fire, turn the world around. We come from the water. We come from the water, living in the water, go back to the water, turn the world around. We come from the water, living in the water, go back to the water, turn the world around. We come from the water, living in the water, go back to the water, turn the world around. We come from the mountain. We come from the mountain, living on the mountain, go back to the mountain, turn the world around. We come from the mountain, living on the mountain, go back to the mountain, turn the world around. We come from the mountain, living on the mountain, go back to the mountain, turn the world around. Oh, so is life. Ah, so is life. Oh, so is life. Ah, Clearly, do we know who we are? Whoa, so is life. Ah, so is life. Whoa, so is life. Ah, so is life. Water make the river, river wash the mountain. Fire make the sunlight turn the world around. Heart is of the river, body is the mountain. Spirit is the sunlight turn the world around. We are of the spirit, truly of the spirit. Only can the spirit turn the world around. Whoa, so is life. Ah, so is life. Whoa, so is life. Ah, so is life. Whoa, so is life. Ah, so is life. Whoa, so is life. Ah. Next, we will sing number 2190 in the Faith We Sing book, Bring Forth the Kingdom. I apologize for the gendered language with kingdom. We will sing that word because it's on the page with this one. And... Uh, Feel free to substitute whatever language works for you in your mind if you, uh, if you so desire. You are salt for the earth, oh people. Salt for the kingdom of God. Share the flavor of life, oh people. Life in the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy, bring forth the kingdom of peace, bring forth the kingdom of justice, bring forth the city of God. You are a light on the hill, O people, light for the city of God. Shine so holy and bright, O people, shine for the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy, bring forth the kingdom of peace, bring forth the kingdom of justice, bring forth the city of God. You are a seed of the word, O oh people, bring forth the kingdom of God. Seeds of mercy and seeds of justice grow in the kingdom of God. Bring forth 
the kingdom of mercy. Bring forth the kingdom of peace. Bring forth the kingdom of justice. Bring forth the city of God. We are a blessed and a pilgrim people bound for the kingdom of God. Love our journey and love our homeland. Love is the kingdom of God. Bring forth the kingdom of mercy. Bring forth the kingdom of peace. Bring forth the kingdom of justice. Bring forth the city of God. So Jen and I are sort of representing the Queer Coalition's Unitarian Universalists. And so it's our honor to light the chalice this morning. A flaming chalice is the symbol of Unitarian Universalism. And it was used during the Second World War in uh, Transylvania and Eastern Europe to mark goods and services and homes which were in defiance to Nazi rule and to protect the Jews. So in the spirit of the protection of those who are in danger and who are oppressed because we understand it is our moral imperative to defy the rules when the rules and the systems reinforce oppression. We light this chalice this morning. Please respond to me in the responsive reading call to worship. Today, we gather as a faith community to observe Transgender Remembrance Day. United in spirit, read prayer. We'll see the powerful healing effects of God's loving will for us. Today, we remember our siblings lost at the hands of hatred, evil, and violence because of their gender identity and expression. God joins us in our grief and pain. Today, we restore anew our commitment to protect, support, and remember our transgender and genderqueer siblings. God bears witness to our restoration. Let our worship today honor our memories and reflect our renewal. Our reading for today is Luke 10. 25 through 37. Just then, a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, a man was going from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. So likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan while traveling came near him, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? He said, 
the one who showed him mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. Gentleness and Living by Richard S. Gilbert. Be gentle with one another. It is a cry from the lives of people battered by thoughtless words and brutal deeds. It comes from the lips of those who speak them and the lives of those who do them. Who of us can look inside another and know what is there of hope and hurt or promise and pain? Who can know from what far places each has come or to what far places each may hope to go? Our lives are like fragile eggs. They crack and the substance escapes. Handle with care. Handle with exceedingly tender care, for there are human beings within. Human beings as vulnerable as we are, who feel as we feel, who hurt as we hurt. Life is too transient to be cruel with one another, it is too short for thoughtlessness, too brief for hurting. Life, if long enough, is for caring. It is lasting enough for sharing, precious enough for love. Be gentle with one another. Now feel free to remain seated and We'll sing together Servant Song 2222. With this one, we will change the gendered language. Where the book has, Brother, Sister, Let Me Serve You, we will sing instead, Won't You Let Me Be Your Servant? And we will sing verses 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then repeat one. John Ongermeyer, and I'm really honored to be speaking today. Um, let you know a little bit about my story. Uh, when I first came out as trans, I didn't really know any trans people. 
I didn't know anyone who had personally gone through a gender transition. I'd only seen what was on television and the news, and those depictions of trans people didn't necessarily depict them as my neighbors. I didn't question my gender until I was about 20, 21. I had spent my high school years struggling with my sexuality and my attraction to girls, and I didn't want to spend another two to three years struggling. So I figured out what the feelings meant, and I ran with it. While it took some adjustments, my family was overwhelmingly supportive. They recognized that I was getting happier and more comfortable with myself. I was able to explore my new self and discover a kind of happiness that I didn't know existed. What if every trans person was given this opportunity? What if we were allowed the space to explore and live as our true selves? Most of us are familiar with the story of the Good Samaritan. Jesus is asked by a lawyer what is written in the law. Jesus proclaims that you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. The lawyer then asks, who is my neighbor? And Jesus responds with a parable about a traveler who is set upon by robbers and beaten half to death. Both a priest and a Levite pass by him and pay him no mind. Finally, a Samaritan passes by and shows him mercy, going, even going so far as to pay for lodging and health care. Often when we hear this passage, there is condemnation on the priest and the Levite for not helping the traveler, and praise set upon the Samaritan. But the question I want to focus on is the one posed to Jesus. Who is my neighbor? When I consider the question that prompted the telling of the parable, the most common and shorter rendering of the answer is to love God and your neighbor as yourself. Usually, I hear this interpreted as two commandments but I imagine that it is composed of three statements rather than just two. Instead of love God and your neighbor as if they were your own person, I hear love God and love your neighbor as your true authentic self, the self that God made you to be. How else are we able to love God with all of our strength, mind, and soul? If part of our identity must be hidden or unacknowledged, we are not being full, our full and authentic selves. We are holding back. Many trans people hear the phrase, God doesn't make mistakes, and frankly, I agree. But the thing is, coming out as trans isn't claiming that God has made a mistake. Rather, it's a claiming of a true self that is internal and known to God all along, even if it wasn't known to those around us or even ourselves. God may have known what journey I had in store, but I certainly did not. By my senior year of high school, around 2007, 2008, I had come out as a lesbian. By 2012, that identity felt like a, sh a sweater that had shrunk in the wash. It just didn't quite fit right anymore. The exploration of my gender opened my eyes to a whole new store that sells custom-made sweaters that will fit every body and person. I was given the space to figure out what my life would, could look like and provided the support and resources to pursue that life. Today, we are gathered to remember and recognize those who began to pursue that new life, but whose journeys were cut short as well as those who were unable to ever begin that life-giving journey, those individuals that we may not know about. These people were travelers who were set upon by those who would rob them of freedom, self-expression, and life itself. We are here to recognize that we live in a broken society where those who step outside the, of the boxes deemed normal are severely punished or even killed. We are here today to lift up the names of individuals we have lost from our community, not just the trans community, our community. Because just as I am your neighbor, so are those on the list we are about to read. So how do we act as a neighbor to those around us? How do we empower people to find their true authentic self and live into that fully? When you see someone being harassed, step in. When you see bigotry and prejudice, call it out. Walk with your neighbors so that we know we are not alone and vulnerable to the harsh conditions this world has in store for those on the margins. Trans people need good company on the road that we travel. Live in a way that tells those on the margins that you are a safe person to come to in their moments of vulnerability and when they need comfort and safety. Since I have begun my transition, I have found peace and self-love in a way that has provided me a new family and new neighbors. I have received a number of comments that I appear and move through the world as a much happier person. I also rediscovered my spirituality on a deeper level. By being allowed to express myself as my authentic self, 
I found a God that was with me through everything, big, small, good, and bad. I didn't answer my call to ministry when I was identifying as a lesbian because of the politics of that particular identity within the Big C Church. Once I transitioned, I found a fortunate, though uncomfortable, loophole in the doctrine of the Methodist Church. There's less political turmoil over trans identities as far as the Book of Discipline goes. I found a level of hope that was previously missing from my life. I was able to pursue this calling with more confidence and passion, all because I was allowed to explore and discover new facets of my identity. I was treated as a neighbor and given the opportunity to love God and neighbor as my true self. And I'm missing the last page of my sermon. <laughs> um, The final question I want to leave you with is how do we love our neighbors in a way that empowers people to be their authentic self and how do we eliminate the need for the story for the Good Samaritan altogether? The elimination of the story may be a lofty goal, but in the pursuit of this goal, we find a kinder, gentler world where there aren't robbers waiting in the shadows to take our life by force. If we lead with mercy, grace, and love, there is the potential to find new self-expressions and neighbors among our communities. We have the potential to embrace and love new forms of dignity in life right here and now. So go out and love God, love your neighbor, all of your neighbors, and do so as your full, authentic, blessed self. And at this time, I'd like to invite you to participate in a ritual that we have developed. If you don't have a stone, you're welcome to grab one at this time from this basket here. I believe everyone has one. The names printed on your stones are those trans individuals who were killed in the United States in 2017 alone. We also have some blank stones understanding that these are only the names of those who are known, either people who were identified or people who were known to have been trans-identified. And we don't know how many others, unfortunately, may. But at this time, I'd like you to take your stone and just hold it with you and understand we intended for these people to be in the room with us today. This is their day of remembrance. And they should be here with us today in a just society that reflects the kingdom of God. These people should be with us today. So what I'm going to do at this time is read the names of all of these people. There's a little over 20 of them. And I'd like to offer a response. So when I read each name, I'd like you to say, we are blessed by your life. Candace Towns. We are blessed by your life. Stephanie Montez. We are blessed by your life. Allie Steinfeld. We are blessed by your life. Scout Schultz. We are blessed by your life. Derricka Banner. We are blessed by your life. Kashmir Red. Kiwi Herring, Guinevere River Song, T.T. Dangerfield, Ebony Morgan, Ava Larray Barron, Josie Berrios, Kenny McFadden, Cheryl Faulkner, Mix Bostick, 
Che Reed. Alfonso Watson. Jaquarius Holland. Ciara McElvin. China Gibson. Kiki Collier. Jojo Stryker. Jamie Lee. Sean Hake. Misha Caldwell. Pepper K, also known as Phoenix. And we also say to all of those whose names are not on this list, but we know were the victims of violence because you were not in the cisgender majority because of who you were and the courage to live into your own identity. We say also. Indeed, we are blessed by your life. We are blessed by all life. May we work to create a world which sanctifies and values every human life. Please pray with me. This prayer is taken from a UCC congregation in Atlanta and it was written for Pride Sunday a, about a year ago. Uh, it's entitled, The Lord's Prayer for Transgender Awareness. Our mother and father, our beloved parent, in whom we move and breathe and have our being, the hallowing of your name shines forth in the diversity of your children. May your peace and love, justice and equality, inclusion and belonging reign here on earth as it is in heaven. Grant that our transgender loved ones might have their daily needs met, that they might find gainful employment without discrimination, that they might have access to medical care without fear, that they might have their rights and lives protected and that they might find a loving community to belong to and call their own. Forgive us for the ways that we have fallen short and failed your transgender children. Forgive us for the times we turned away or did not care, for the times we laughed or judged their unique expression of your image, for the times we have misspoken, asked too much, or failed to hear. <clears throat> 